Hello there. Only two hours late. But I made it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am here. We got there. Things look good. 24 hour stream starts now. Share. Okay. And if there's any other tech issue, then I give up. <laughs> what up, Yosuke? How you doing, man? Yeah, it's just like two hours of tech issues. It's ridiculous. Because I haven't played my PS3 in forever. Nor my PS2. And so just trying to make sure everything was hooked up because I had to change the settings from what I did with the PS4 and the Genesis. But make sure I could still load all of those seamlessly. It was just... Such a mess. Such a mess. What up, Magnum Skywolf? How you doing? Yeah, 24 hour hype. What's going down? Um, and I will be giving away a PlayStation, $20 PlayStation Store gift card. That probably won't happen and for, for at least like 15 hours. Just because I started so late and there's like no one here. So it wouldn't be fair. Hopefully the volumes sound okay. I was hearing a lot of static in my headphones, um, but that's just because my headphones volume was turned up really loud, so I hear a lot of like static noise from the PS3. Please let me know if you hear that so I can adjust accordingly and adjust any other volumes as I need to. Um, so yeah, I think everything looks good there, so I'm actually gonna minimize this because I don't need that up and here so I saw the results of the straw poll surprisingly or unsurprisingly most people wanted to see me do a fresh install of Dark Souls Prepare to Die which uh, I'm not surprised by that then second was Dragon's Crown so Dark Souls got 15% of the votes. Dark Dragon's Crown got 13%. We Love Katamari got 13%. Really small fuzz. Okay. Yeah, and that could be... I, ha I do have the fan on in my room. Um, just because I'll be streaming for 24 hours and it's going to get kind of warm. I need to close that window because sirens go and they get really noisy. So give me one sec. Um, but I can still talk while I'm doing that because I have a good mic. Thank you, Yosuke. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I said I was going to talk while I was doing this and then didn't really have anything to say. But yeah, it was just interesting splits and votes and all that stuff. So I'll try to play as many of these games that I can. As we go through. I'm going to start with Dragon's Crown, though, because I've been wanting to play this game forever. So, Fatal Fangs, what is going on? How are you doing, man? It is good to see you. You get to hang out with us for like 24 hours now. Just let me just make sure... I don't want my mic showing in my camera. I don't like that. There we go. Let's get that out the way. Minimize that back down. All right, so let's get into some games, because, like, I want to get into some games. <laughs> have I done a 24-hour stream before? I have done two 24-hour streams before, actually. Two of them. The first one I did was to celebrate my... What was it, two year streaming anniversary or one year stream anniversary? The second one that I did was to finish an RPG game that I absolutely was bored with. And if I didn't do a 24 hour stream to finish it, I wouldn't have finished it. So that is why I did that. Um, I did them fine, I had no problem. 
Uh, I don't sleep much. I have uh, a chronic case of insomnia and chronic fatigue syndrome, which you would think would cancel each other out and I'd sleep normally, but they don't. So as such, I just don't sleep much at all. So I can stream no problem as long as I don't have work. <laughs> so I've got some liquids here. I've got water and I got some tea for my throat. Um, that sounds really loud to me, but that might just be me. Oh crap, that's loud. I need to turn my headset down. You can see one causing the other. Mm, yeah, I would say... I don't know which one started first, actually. If I were to think back to me being a kid, they probably would still trigger it about the same time. Where's Dragon's Crown? I won't, there it is. CJ, what's going on, man? How you doing, dude? All right, so let's get in here. Latest update. Okay. I guess we have to wait. It was such a pain in my butt trying to get this daggum blasted PS3 back up. That's what took the majority of the time. Because even though I had the settings right, the color just wasn't wanting to come through correctly. Um, it also wasn't wanting to show up. I had to toggle the dang settings for the black media yeah. whoa <laughs> what up buddy thank you for that host dude my headset's just really loud that's all that is okay i'm doing all right man why is my headset so loud why are my volumes so loud i don't understand it you know i don't care i can lower things on my side so that's fine Yeah, things are all right. I, I've had a really long meeting today, which was actually extremely frustrating because we didn't get done what we needed to by any stretch of the imagination. Wow, that's loud. So let me know if I need to turn down volumes because this is definitely loud. Um, and I can do that. So I've heard this game is just like amazing. My buddy played it. He wanted to do co-op with me with it. And we just never got around to it. Look at that, that's amazing. Maybe I need to turn the volumes up now. Jeez. She is swole. I already like how this looks like, but it's weird. Game is loud? Okay. What's good, Hoodie? Is that better? Does that sound better now? I can lower it more if need be. She definitely looks straight up like Odin's feet. I hear she's pretty OP too. Turn it down a bit more. I'll turn my mic up a little bit. Well, yeah. Oh, I see what I could do. Hold on. Let's do that. And then I'll do this. Is that better now? I mean, I can, we can keep adjusting it as, as I need to. Just let me know. What options do we have? Oh, I can also turn it down in here. It's just crazy how loud the volume is. It's pretty nuts, actually. <laughs> it's like whenever you go to the movie theater and it's just like, it's 
right in your face like that, you know? It's pretty, pretty ridiculous. Let's see. So I'm gonna start. As the game music is playing, could be lower. Okay, I will, I will keep adjusting it. That is totally fine. We will play with the volume. So just keep letting me know what it needs, and I'll just keep turning it down. We'll go with that, and and we'll we'll just keep messing with it. You must select a character with select player to go on an adventure. Okay. I would imagine so. Perfect. Great. Kanpeki. Choose the character you control. You can edit their name, messages, and color. Alright. Okay. Add, okay. Change control. Narrator voices can also be chosen here. You see to do. How do I change? You seated yourselves and called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Rani, is it? Alright. Well, I can't change that. I definitely want subtitles on for people. Um, Do I want the HP gauge on? Nah, I'll turn it on later. If I want or need. Okay, so use items with these. Move characters with analog. Cursor speed. I like fast cursors. Crossplay settings. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Alrighty. Select player. Select the character to create with. Oh, who do I want to play with first? Let's do this. Oh, okay. I might do this. Strength S. Constitution A. Int D. Don't care about int. Everyone who knows me knows I just like to, you know, smash and dash. Just face tank it. Magic, or magic resistance C, dex B, luck B. Okay. Recommended for all players. A combat specialist who unleashes quick attacks using a sword and defends with a shield. Alright. Indeed. Indeed. Recommended for expert players. Wow. The question is which character gets to punch things real good, exactly. Archaic knows what's up. Strength E, Constitution D, Int A, Magic S, Dex B, Luck A. Which who controls magical forces at her whim. She has high magic defense and good support magic. Okay, you know, that's bad. It's got the crystal ball action going and everything too. <laughs> the animations out here are crazy. Hmm. I'm not sold, I didn't like your intro statement male magician who has mastered a variety of offensive spells. His magic is probably pretty baller too, though. Gotta finish my drink! Yeah, there you go. Oh, strength S and constitution S. This is probably gonna be who I start with. His rock-solid body and his hammer strike fear into the hearts and bodies of foes. He can also throw opponents and objects. Alright. We're probably gonna be the dwarf. Okay. It's, it's probably gonna happen. Well, archer moves swiftly. She's a well-rounded character. Everyone knows I'm terrible with Archer characters and Dex characters. Unless it's World of Warcraft. So, I might touch All her last. Alright! Right. A tough female warrior who wields a mighty axe. Her damage and speed increase the more she attacks. Okay. Strength A. Constitution C. Int C. Magic C. Dex B. Luck A. So a lot of luck and a lot of strength. And she has an axe. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Amazon first. Meg? Look at her animation. She is ripped from head to toe. And look at that axe. That is crazy. Okay, hold on. What is what is the Let's door? All right. ready. I'm all ready. One more drink. One more. I just need to finish my drink. What has he got in his hands? Yeah, it's a straight up Halbert. No way, it's just an axe for her. This cursor is really fast. Alistair. 
I mean, he's got like, he just punches stuff. Look at his chest. Look at the veins in his whole entire body. What's going on with that? I don't understand what's going on with that, but I kind of like it. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna still play. Let's go. We're going. We're going. All right. Lucretia. All right. Platinum blonde, brunette, lilac blonde. That's pretty cool. Honey blonde, ash blonde. Go with the lilac. Ready. Ready. I kind of, I kind of like the deep female voice. I think it's kind of cool. All right. We'll have the dwarf speak in Japanese, maybe. Green message. I don't know. Oh, that's. All right. I'll keep it simple. These are the best messages. <laughs> I, you know, I'm a man of a few words a lot of the time. All right, so oh, I can just create all of them now. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I won't be defeated. We're going. All right, well, I'll, I'll just I'll just go with this for now. She's got a pole axe. They don't even call it a pole arm; just straight up pole axe. All right. Let's go. Let's go. You seated yourselves and called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Rani, is in a particularly good mood. Quaffing the bar's spirits buoyed your spirits. When things are lively, Rani will recount a certain tale. You were an adventurer, just starting out and didn't know right from left. It was then that you first met. This is proper Dungeons and Dragons. I've never played it, so I wouldn't know what's proper and what ain't. What is not? Ain't, ain't a word, as my teachers in Texas would always say, even though ain't was the strongest part of their vocabulary. Beginning basic tutorial. All right, basic movement. Whoa. Jump. <laughs> Showing off the cheeks. Okay. Old square while. Oh, what? Oh, that's your dash. So she just like does that the whole time for her. Oh, is to like stamina? Oh, there we go. Hold down while moving. But she's not. So that kicks though, but I'm holding it down and she's not doing any faster. Oh, she has a backflip. That's pretty cool. Normal attacks. Use combinations of square and the analog stick to do different attacks. Come at me. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. And a slide. Alright. Aerial attacks like ground attacks, you can use square, so just different combinations. Oh, okay, that was pretty tight. Hold square to guard. I'll never do that. I'll do it for the tutorial, but that's it. Character's guard may be penetrated if they're struck by a strong attack or a powerful combo. Alright.
Oh, okay. Power Smash can only be used when you have a weapon. A weapon that you have stabbed into the ground cannot be used until the X over it has emptied. What? What? Okay, so now she's just like straight kicking. Oh, snap. Special equipment such as crossbows can be taken from enemies or treasure caches. Press triangle to pick it up. Press square to use it while it has uses They're remaining. Here. Wait, was that a butt smash? That is a butt smash! That's... <laughs> oh, and she got a dive kick too. Enemies. Okay, this is tight. I like the butt smash. Can I just like fight with that the whole time? Items in your item slot can be selected with the D-pad and used with down. Okay. Select your healing potion. And then use it. Okay. <laughs> Butt smash hype. When you use an item, there will be a cooldown period before you can use it again. If you use an equipment item in your inventory, it will replace your current equipment. Okay. Leather boots, pull X. Gotcha. Move on to the next stage. <laughs> oh, she's got a double jump too. Well, does she does. Of course she does. Food will sometimes appear when you defeat enemies or destroy containers. Alright. Once you have obtained food, you will begin eating it automatically once you stop moving and attacking. Eating food will restore up to 150% of your maximum health. Okay. I can't wait to see the dwarf's moves. Shall I open that door for you? Yes, the rogue please. Rogue inquired, after appearing from out of nowhere. He thought that it would be a simple matter to take advantage of your naivete and pocket some coin. Naivete? He's just trying to watch the butt smash from far away, that's all. The door is locked, but you can order Rainy the Rogue to open it for you. Move your cursor over the door. Oh, that's the cursor speed. That's really fast. Hold on. Can I like... How do I get back in my menu? Because I want to slow that down. That's a little fast. There we go. Let's see. Oh. Done. You can ask Granny the Rogue to open treasure chest for you. Wait, she just did a flip. Oh, it's because I'm pushing R1, which is to dodge instead of L1. Oh yes. Simple. Ooh. Crossbow. Oops. Enemies. Oh, that's so awesome! Look how much damage that did. This butt smash does 65 damage. That's like... Ow. Turn around. Okay, the butt smash does more damage than my normal attack. Okay. So I'm terrible at combat. But it's all about the butt smash anyway. It does the most damage. She's basically like Armika. This ends the basic tutorial. Right. Bunch Since that steel. point, you've been journeying under mutually beneficial terms. You handle combat, and Rani handles locks. I don't know if that's beneficial. I don't think that's like a equal opportunity partnership there. The butt smash does more damage and stun locks him. I think we have a clear winner in attack choice. Exactly. I'm just gonna abandon the axe like immediately. That's probably a terrible idea. I might try to butt smash my way through the game. You can select leave tavern to go into town. Okay, well, we gotta go in here and slow this cursor down a little bit, because that was a little fast. We'll put it on like seven. All right. Let's go to town. Tinkerbell. I wonder if the game will let you leave your axe. Probably. But no way. 
You came to Hydland as an adventurer. Like many of your fellows, you strove to challenge the dangerous labyrinths here. The labyrinths were every bit as perilous as you'd heard. Most were lucky to even have their bones exit the ruins. You don't currently belong to the guild. I recommend registering. You can get jobs there and learn skills. Look at that background. That looks pretty tight. You can now go to the Adventurer's Guild. Alright. Let's go to the Adventurer's Guild. Clad in full armor, the Guildmaster, Samuel Joseph, stands in the center of the Guild Hall like a statue. I bet you'll be there, or there will be eventually enemies that don't get knocked down by the butt smash. That's true. That's right. We'll just have to keep buffing our strength and just get our butts stronger. Internet is out for nearly 12 hours because of a groundskeeper decided to fumble the chainsaw badly <laughs> and damage the cable internet box for the area. Oh man, how you doing, icy vibes? What's going on, man? Get on and see an old but familiar face playing the definition or of a solid game. I like. It. Well, welcome back. I'll be here for 24 hours. I hope you've been doing well, man. It's good to see you again. He appraises you with a look and dismissively states that only worthless adventurers leave their equipment in disrepair. <laughs> By in the ground? Your travels thus far have left your equipment positively thrashed. You resolve to rectify that before returning. So we need to just go get a massage, because it's just been all butt smashes, so like, our equipment is our cheeks. The Guildmaster directs you to Morgan's Magic Item Shop. The magician is even able to repair magical equipment. Interesting. Oh, it gave me my axe back. Okay. No, I haven't. I haven't did that. I got my master's degree. Uh, I I wasn't doing my doctoral degree. That would be the next step. But I'm not starting that yet. It's it's too difficult to do that program with my current job because I do so much work travel. Hey, it's not in disrepair. It's been left sticking out in the middle of a market street as a new monument. Exactly. Now we can go to Morgan's Magic Item Shop. To be deemed worthy by the Adventurer's Guild, you must first repair your broken equipment. Quit it. No. There we go. Now we can run. Wow. That's some interesting running. Okay, now we can do that, though. Can't wait you to can't see go a end. labyrinthine set of stairs, and Morgan Lisley, shopkeeper and witch, welcomes you to her establishment. Can't wait to see what the Odin Sphere people make next. Yeah, me too. I like their art style, and Odin Sphere was a really fun game. So I'm, and I'm already liking this one. So that makes me happy. Close enough. That was one of your longest psychologist starts seeing you as a patient. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yes, I'm done with that one. She looks like a bad lady, like a villainess. There is no object's repair which does not fall under her purview. From ornate magic staves to rusted axes. Welcome to my shop. Hello. What would you like? Uh, butt armor. With spikes. Yeah, butt spikes. I would love that. Adventurers come here not only for repairs, but for appraisals and to purchase magic items. You will visit Morgan often. Okay. The ducats, dude. What is going on, man? I haven't seen you like forever, man. How you been? She looks like she doesn't have to care about clothes. Just cast the right spell and laugh in your face as you get hypothermia slash heat stroke. <laughs> she's, she's a master of all the elements. The start menu is now available. You can open it by hitting start or by clicking the player. Your equipment is now unmarred. You should return to the guild and see if the guildmaster deems you worthy. Okay, now I can go into the start menu. What up, Freyon? When's a real character like the sources? 
Hey, this is a real character. That's butt, butt smash can't be denied. Like, it's pretty swole. That's a pretty strong skill. Well, I wonder if it'll do more than the axe now since the axe has been repaired. Because it was 47 before and the butt smash was 65. So I guess we'll Once have to find again, out. The Guildmaster Samuel Joseph stands in the center of the Guild Hall like a statue. With your equipment now in tip-top condition, you request to join the guild. Samuel issues you a test of skill. <laughs> What's good, Duckus? It's what good to see you, will man. You do? How you doing? Eagerly accept the entry exam, ask the guild master for details, or state that you are overqualified for the test. Oh, we're overqualified. We're ballers. It's fine. After hearing your reply, Samuel states the deeds not words are the truest hallmark of the worthy fine or just be really swole like i'm pretty sure she had to lift mountains to get that strong and get that physique once again the so guild master the samuel okay. joseph stands in the center of the guild hall like a statue gonna go beat a game see you pop up over the next 24 hours all right magnum sounds good man I'll be here. <laughs> Good luck, man. With your equipment now, it what All will right. you do? Will your test accept. is to help a warrior named Roland. Samuel says that you can find him in the ancient temple ruins. So this it's not necessarily a say what you want and you progress. There's just weird dialogue choices. If you say the wrong thing, you just have to do it again. Yeah, man, I'll be streaming for 24 hours, so if you're gonna hit the hay, I'll be around if you get some time uh, once you wake up and finish everything else you got to do. So, nah, I'm, uh, I'm doing alright. It's good to see you, man. First question you ask him is why his head is so small compared to the rest of them, and if he can consume enough food without assistance via IV. <laughs> Be back for coffee with Jag. Well, I don't drink coffee, but you can sip a coffee and I'll drink my tea. For sure. Town map is now available. You can open it with select, and you can now go to the gate. Great. To prove your metal for the Guildmaster, you head to the ancient temple ruins to assist the warrior, Roland. The warrior, Roland. Okay, so now we can do quick move. Temple, the old tower, the castle, the stables, and then the gate. Okay. Wait, what? So we can save. So let's go save just so I don't mess up. So you don't go back into the dash unless you push it again after you flip. Uh. Both are adventures. So, speaking of saving, because it reminded me of Persona 5, um, getting decently far into it. So, uh, I don't even know how far I am. I would guess I'm at the halfway point at this point. Controls are. Ooh, hey, who are you? Can I talk to you? Whoops. Talk to me, say something. Why? Why did he just like stopped and it's not moving anymore? Oh, I guess that's his kid or something. Floating A magic anti gate was recently found in the ruins on the outskirts of town. Use that to reach your destination. I do kind of want to turn off his narration. And just read it myself. I can't. Oh wait, sure I can. I can go into There we go.
I mean, his voice is fine. I just want to read it myself. <laughs> I would prefer to do that. Because then it's just too much talking between him and me and all that stuff. If, if my throat gets tired, as it is want to do when you have ILS, then I'll turn it back on. I like this. Look at that. Look at the statues and the door. The castle in the background that like kind of warps as you move the camera around. Like this is all tight. And this uh, reminds me, this archway here, reminds me of uh, San Francisco. The little art museum coliseum looking thing near the beach. Uh, close by the Golden Gate Bridge. I forget the name of it because I've only been there once. But it reminds me of that. She can jump high. Holy moly. I wish I had her hops. But I guess if you're like that swole, you better be able to jump high. That was tight. So we have a boss that's level one in the ancient temple. Let's go. Many things lie within the ruins of the old Elysian temple. Some quiescent. I missed it. No, an ancient dragon spoke of, spoken of in the myths, is said to have destroyed the Elysian civilization in one night. Okay, maybe I have to turn the narrator on because I can't read. What? What? Nope. Okay, well that was tight. That smash is still smash better though. Defeating enemies and picking up score items will earn points. These points will become experience at the end of the adventure. So we're still gonna just butt smash. Oh, I can't. I gotta have my axe. No, that's just not real. Okay, okay that was kind of tight. <laughs> yeah. Oh right, I gotta tell the thief to do so. That's right. Outstanding. Outstanding. It's my turn. Thank you, sir. Voila. Treasure rank up. Ninety-nine gold. When you open a treasure chest, you will obtain ranked equipment. Once you return from the dungeon, you will be given a chance to appraise, keep, or sell the equipment that you've gained. Eh, I don't care about that. <sighs> you made your way to Roland. At the guild's behest, he is looking for adventurers who went missing at the ruins. He doesn't look like he needs my help. <laughs> he looks like he can take care of himself pretty okay. Like, he might give Hercules a run for his money. <laughs> Overlord manga, what's going on, man? For you to pass your guild exam, you must help him. Roland tells you to search in the ruins that are submerged in water. Look at his belt buckle. That's amazing. Can I offer a really simple non-invasive tip that will make your life in this game possibly a lot less frustrating if you wind up wanting to play it to the end? No! You can't tell me. I have to figure it out. So don't tell me though. But I'll remember it if I get stuck. I'll ask. Doing so so calf muscle in your right leg said nope. So most likely a busted muscle. Ooh. That would not be good. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon, man. Just put some heat on it. A little bit of warm. Let it rest a little bit. Massage it some. Unless it hurts too much to touch. Much time has passed since the missing were last seen. It tells you to bring back their bones if they are found dead. Okay. Well, hopefully we're not bringing back bones. They're here. Yeah, you karate kicked that snake. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> oh, I know you can. I got it. 
that's why oh, I yeah. told you to do it. Oh yeah. Filthy Luca. Filthy Luca. Oh, why? I can do that. Why are you calling me Filthy Luca? Oh, so it gives your axe back every time. That kind of sucks. What? Oh, look at that spider. <laughs> Whoa! I got got. Let me go. Ooh, that was bad. Alright. Let's see. Last time you had pain like this, it was six months of relax slash rehab. Oh my god. I want a flamethrower. Heck yeah, I want a flamethrower. Most likely looking at the same amount of time now. Oh man, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Just gonna enjoy some Dragon's Crown with you for now. Alright, man. And keep us in the loop. That looks like a spike trap. Yep. Enemies. Yeah. I like how this has like an arcade style to it. I mean, it's Odin's Sphere style, of course, but I just feel like I'm playing an old arcade game like Golden Axe. And I love it. And I like that background in the back. That rainbow? That's really slick. This year has not been fun. Back and knee started the year out, and then now this. Not my year for soccer to say the least. Oh man, that sucks, dude. Soccer's a tough sport, though. It can really mess you up. It's really intensive. Really intense. Oh, we found some bones. You can pick up bones you find in the stage with triangle. Okay. Sometimes the dead have been known to leave behind a message right before they perish. Okay. And that said, stay on target was his message. Soccer takes sound, not time to learn to play. Hold your ear to the foot, hit and ball, and listen. <laughs> yeah, Vanillaware is pretty good. Ooh. Oh, look at the reflections, too. That's pretty clean. The reflections are nice. Yeah, this is what? a really pretty game. Just like thing right out of his hand immediately. Wow. Yeah, I like fighting without weapons so much better with her. So much more. Oh, we got a harpy boss. All right. Oh, they gave me my axe back. I just kicked the feathers out of this guy. No, 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 let me go, let me go, let me go. Ouch. No, I can't even see anything. Get off me, girl. No, I jumped right into it. Okay, okay. Yeah, dive kick. This is a fight game. All day. That's fun. Treasure rank C. Oh, wow, that sucks. There seems to be more nests similar to this one spread across the ground. You exit the area taking care to avoid drawing the attention of any other harpies. Okay. Well, I have to go back and get A's. I can hear the Odin Sphere music. That's good.
Lebedo Epu. Sweet. Level 2. We got some bonus score. That's kind of nice. I don't know if I got shot or headed or what I was straight in the face when my calf muscle said no. Didn't feel any pain at all in my face even though a ball hit it straight. Ooh. I like how the character art is very similar to the backgrounds and doesn't rely on anti-aliasing to separate the models from the fore and background. Yeah, I like it too. It's really cool. The spoil screen. You can appraise unknown items that you claim from treasure chests. You can also sell your unwanted spoils. So I imagine... Okay, so these are boots, those are gloves. I don't think I have any gloves yet. That axe looks kind of cool. So, I can't use those gloves, so I don't care. I can use those, but I don't care. Nor that. And that's a rank D. That's rank C. That one looks cooler. So I'm just going to sell all this stuff. I just wonder if it'll sell for more once I identify it. So I'll appraise something cheap like this, just cause I could also use it. So it does sell for a little bit more. Okay. Let's obtain that and then we'll sell the rest. start menu and equip from equipment okay you have fulfilled the request report your work to the guild master all right let's put on our new x <laughs> so heavy so i know i can quick travel but i'm probably just going to like run across the screen for a while just because this background is amazing. Return to the guild to report your quest. However, Samuel gives you an additional task. It is possible to resurrect the dead with their bones. He tells you to go to the temple to attempt the resurrection ritual. Canon Temple is a temple dedicated to the worship of the goddess Althena. Proceed there immediately. Althena, what is this? Lunar? Here's the tower. Let's go there. Those butt bones. Man, he looks rough. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of a help. A monk says and approaches you. The prayer of the monks sometimes restores the dead to life. The goddess bestows mercy to those whose time has not yet come. What troubles you, my child? What troubles you, my child? I will want to resurrect someone. Allow this heart to beat again. Oh, that's cool looking. It actually brings down a heart. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse the death. And awaken them. Wow, that's actually pretty tight. I like that. The prayer reaches the goddess and the pile of bones is made new. The adventurer pledges their allegiance to you as thanks. So now we have... Any adventurers you resurrect will wait for you at the end. You can now fill out your party with those who are waiting at the end. Please be aware that if you leave an area, one of your party has fallen, they will become lost. If you encounter any bones during your questing, be sure to bring them back and resurrect them so that they can assist you. Okay, we will choose some allies. Just pick me already. Alright, lady. Let's bring you in. Let's go! Okay, you were very gung-ho about this. 
Let's go. And I will make another save. I like to have two saves, minimum. I did also just get off of work not too, too long ago. Alright. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to smack you with the axe. Twice. Right. After delivering your report, you think you see part of a smile across Samuel's face. You are now registered with the guild. You may now get cooperation from guild members. They may participate in your party and help you in completing quests. The Adventurers Guild has a backlog of quests because many adventurers are occupied with the Dragon's Crown rumors. The king and his retinue left to find the Dragon's Crown and are missing. Many guild members are now searching for them. The existence of this crown that supposedly controls dragons is disputed the king was obsessed with finding it. Samuel hurriedly assigns you to a new task. You get the feeling that he deems you reliable and trustworthy. It's a request from this country's prime minister. The quest details will be provided at the castle. You wander about the lives of the powerful people, wonder about the lives of the powerful people in that grand castle. You happily accept the job. You can now learn select learn skill and quests. Welcome back. Arigato. Whoops, he says. I have a feeling that won't be the last case of friendly fire we see. You would be right. Let's learn a skill. When you learn a skill, the player skills will be strengthened. You can earn skill points by blah blah blah. You can learn skills specific to the Amazon class, or you can learn skills common to all classes. These cards are crazy looking. What's in the common? Slide attack. Increased chance of taking the enemy down when sliding. Okay. Wealth to health. Picking up coins recovers HP. That's pretty good. Money is power. Picking up coins adds to your score. I like that better. Increases your max HP. Nutritionist won't decrease the number of maintenance. Okay, it chooses the skill cooldown time. Okay, number of times you can evade in a row. Deep pockets, number of item slots and bags, which is good. Okay, so there's a lot of good skills in here. It's not a real fantasy party unless half your battle wounds come from friendly fire. That is true. Nope, I wanted. What she got? Stun Wave. Aerial attack which combines a knockdown attack with the shockwave. Neck splitter. Wow, that sounds good. Double jump for a powerful downward strike, okay? Deadly revolution. Wow, you gotta be level 11 for that. Allows you to change direction in midair while spinning with square. Then left to right in midair. Okay. Brutal drive. Power, smash, and shock waves are strengthening. Parry enemy. I'm not I don't care about parry. <laughs> I'm not gonna parry. Deal multiple four hit combos on the ground. Will increase damage and chance of berserk. Yep, want that. Spinning attack with invincibility. Want that too. Attack an enemy multiple times consecutively for an increased attack power and speed. Strength increases as HP decreases. Summon clones that unleash multiple attacks. Okay. Go into Berserker mode in exchange for HP. Nah. Ignores knockback in exchange for HP and only take 10 damage from all attacks. That's cool. Okay, so I want, I want some clones, and I want the invincibility. I gotta be level 15 for that. The war paint, though. I gotta be level five. 
So for now, I'm gonna grab a... Berserk. And Punisher. Oh, I gotta be at least level 10. So we'll go with that, and then I'm gonna get a... Uh, But money is power. Oh, do I want money is power? Yeah, I want money is power. So we're gonna go with those. Let's go. Oh wait. Now go to the castle. Well, I want to go back here first. Hmm. You have a request. Help the honey buzzards. Okay. We've seen a dramatic increase in the wasp population in recent days. Some of our top scholars believe that this wasp explosion is due to the decline of honey buzzards. Scholars postulate that orcs have taken up residence in the ancient temple ruins and are hunting the buzzards for food. Without the buzzards consuming the wasps, the wasp population is growing unchecked. If their supply chain can be broken, the orcs residing in the ruins will be forced to leave, thus allowing the buzzard population to rebound. Destroying a recent orc shipment in the harbor should be enough to encourage the orc's relocation. At ancient temple ruins, destroy the orc's cargo found at the harbor. Granny can open the door at the harbor. Get a skill point, 750 experience points, and some money. A treasure art. Honey buzzards, eaters, of wasps. Alright. Let's go do that before we go to the castle. Because I'm all about side quests. I don't know if I'll finish this game today. Wait, I didn't want to do that, no! Flanked by guards, you are led through the secure castle. Princess Vivian and Prime Minister Gustav awaited you. Gustav looks pretty shady, man. Prime Minister speaks a lot, in contrast to the silent princess. He asks you to swear to keep this matter secret. She reminds me of, uh... I can't remember character names, but like the girl in Odin Sphere who was dressed in red. That'd be crazy if these games were like matched up. The royal scepter has been stolen. A witness who saw the thief described him as a Tomet, a no as Tomet, a no bandit. Your job is to track down Tomet and retrieve the scepter. Also, for the sake of the kingdom, this must be kept secret. Granny whispers that he knows of this Tomet. He is well known and is based out of the old capital. You bow and leave the throne room. Alrighty. Well, in order to retrieve the royal scepter, you chase the thief into the ruins of the old capital. Not yet. Not yet, I don't. First, I go do my side quest, homie. Let's find some honey buzzards. Highland. I love this music. You may now revisit areas that you have cleared. Select your des destination using an analog stick. So we can either go to the old capital, or we shift back that. Well, look at how it goes day and night. That's pretty tight. Or we can go to the ancient temple ruins, which is where we're going because we have a side quest there. You may now press start to check on your currently accepted quests or end your adventure. Many things lie within the ruins. Yeah, yeah, some part of stuff we already saw. Look, she's not even shooting a bow either. She's just like, let's just butt smash. Can she butt smash? I wonder if the dwarf can butt smash. That'd be cool. Yeah, money and power is pretty good. Yes. Oh yes. Simple. I am magnificent. Treasure rank E. Be careful. A dagger. <laughs> Dude, that dagger does so much damage. Okay. 
This archer is pretty good. Be careful. I will. <laughs> I'll be careful. I love how I'm like not doing anything. Ow, I got screwed. That's crazy. Temporary weapons for allies. You can disarm your allies from their temporary weapons by clicking on them. Oh, nah, you know what? You're fine with that. I don't see a problem. Okay. I got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see. Simple. The orc army is apparently getting here via the water. Okay. Their cargo. Is various articles from ships that had been reported missing. It's my turn. Voila! Let's see. That's pretty Done. cool. Done. Alright, I kinda like this guy. I also like this thing. Chat was broken. I uh, know Twitch does that sometimes where people can't type. It's interesting. That is what's cool. Enemies. Enemies. Oh, she just like wrecked that thing. Whoa. Dude. You were supposed to protect me from that, Scrib. Oh, we still have two apples. They stack up. That's awesome. Okay. This game's getting better and better. Oh, she just flipped right over it. What Calm down. Pretty sure Rainy's invincible. I like how she's doing all the fighting, and I'm just like, hiya, hiya, hoo. And I'm not hitting anything. And you see blue damage numbers everywhere. I'm glad we resurrected her. <laughs> she, she clearly knows what she's doing. Press the enter key and the chat key, and it didn't work. That's weird. Oh, right, you can overheal. I forgot about that. Okay, so we're at 433 health. So you probably want to think about how often you're overhealing compared to saving it to when you really need it. I would imagine. Dude, the juggles. The juggles with the tag team. I approve of all of this. Still do 72 damage with the butt smash. Butt smasher, join me in the smashing brigade. Butts. That's not. Oh, she's got an infant stun. That's pretty good. She can jump and shoot her arrow like that? That's pretty tight. This game is awesome, man. I love it. Oh, we got B rank this time. Sweet. There seems to be more nests similar to this one spread throughout the area. Awesome. Money obtained this round, money used, completion bonus. That's good. Got some good money. 
レベルアップナイスおお We got something glowing here Oh yes the B rank うん、yes, yes, yes, yes. Identify this. Sparking Long Spike. Bonus 12% as lightning damage. Damage to demonic foes plus 12%. And a 12% chance to stun. I think I will use that. Yes, please. Give me. Let me take. Obtain. Um, that is for everyone. It's an amulet. That's not bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that too. At low HP, damage dealt plus 11%. Status ailment removed after extending. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna take it. What's that? A D rank rod. Don't care. Don't care about those or those. All right, so then we'll sell the rest of those. <laughs> That's a lovely, lovely weapon. That is for sure. So I gotta make sure I keep track of bows and stuff too. Because if I don't. Oh, hey, we can resurrect somebody too. Wait, so is, is the other girl just gone now? It's just a one and done? Well, what happened to the... Why couldn't she could equip that thing? She couldn't equip the amulet. Wandering one, how can I help you? Hey, we get a dwarf. And he's got some bomb satchel action. Yes. Come on here, boy. Are you cheap? Come on in with it. I knew I was too good to die. My man. <laughs> there we go. Bury bones, you may receive an item. Well, depends. You know. Alright. Let us save. Allies. Gotta finish my drink. He looks awesome. Let's go. Let's go. We'll go. Don't worry. We will go all the go. We have to turn in that quest before we go to the castle. Look at our crew, man. We just looking solid. I like this. I like this a lot. How do I go to the other character's stuff, though? Oh, her face is just not listed. I miss... No, her face... It looks like her face. Oh, you have to be level 5. That's why. I'm blind. I gotta be two more levels. Okay. Look at those hammers. And I'm just ooing on all over this game. I already did it. I didn't accept it. Wait, we have to go do it again? I'm not sure I accepted that. Okay, now I have it. I, th I thought I had it the first time. All right, well, we'll do this again real fast. Won't take long. Okay, so those times I jumped, it kept the dash. Another one bites the dust. Almost. So 
we'll just run in. We probably won't fight the Harpy again. We probably will, though. Oh, dude, look at my, uh, what's his name? Oh, he threw his hammers. Look at my, uh, my pole axe. That looks bold with the spikes turn. on it. Oh, Randy leveled up. I like how I just knocked down all the statues and everything. Or outstanding. Let's see. Everything will break when I touch it and hurt me. I got it. That's sparkling. Mousing your cursor over a shiny thing. Oh, look at that! That's pretty cool. Alright, I like that. Oops, pay attention to what you You're here for store balance to the ecosystem. Glad I could be of service. Oh yeah. Don't take my food, people. It's my food. It's my turn. You have this food. Oh. oh. <laughs> that sucks to be you, man. And it's kind of cool that he can. So whenever your cursor touches the item, it refreshes its cooldown. It's a. Uh, it's time before it disappears. That's good to know. And I like that my axe just like lights up there too. That's kind of cool. So this is really how you get the higher score for the treasure. Like you really got to be good about zooming your cursor around. Let's see. So what happens if I click on a? Uh, enemy. Did Randy, Randy attack it, I wonder? Yeah, the crossbow is pretty big. It's pretty awesome. Whoa. Smooth move. Whoa. What? What? So he'll just move to that area. I don't. I mean, the crossbows are cool, but I don't. I don't know. Well, at least we'll have a full party after this. This will make a lot of fights much easier. Need a touch. Dude, stop blowing yourself up with these bombs. Did I just request that? I am terrible at this game. I am missing everything. Stop calling me that. I don't think he's calling me that though, because you can change the name to whatever you want, so. I don't know who he's saying it to. But it sounds like he keeps saying filthy Luca. Oh, the potion up. Okay, so 
now we officially do more damage than the butt smash, so the butt smash is done for now. It was fun while it lasted, but now we got real damage we do. So we got B rank treasure again. Two of them. I don't think they have S rank treasure in this stage. But we're level four. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, I don't need another one of those. I like the one that I have. Another amulet. Not really interested. A uh, belt. Don't really need. I'll do that with a different character. Rip butt smash, you were the best. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna show up every now and again, but for the most part. Oh. Well, if that doesn't sell for anything, I'll just keep it. Alright, Archaic. Okay. Take care, man. Sleep well. See you in a little bit. What troubles you, my child? Alright. We will resurrect you. Mika. Micha. Death is all ghostly, ghostly. What? Kinda s Oh, he even said bury me appropriately. I didn't see that because one of my characters was covering up the message. I probably would have buried him as he requested. Maybe I would have gotten a good item. Sorry, dude, you don't get to be dead yet. You don't get to be dead. Whoops. Are you ready for this? He's level five. You definitely don't get to be dead yet. Get ready. There's no way you get to be dead yet with you being level 5. Are you serious? You're stronger than me. You coming. You leading the charge. Alright, he looks pretty cool though. His staff's got some ghostly, ghostly swirls on it. His hair, look at his hair while he runs. It's like Legolas except a wizard. Legolas. Hmm, you're back. <laughs> you aren't allowed to die. Yeah. Art you obtain from quests can be viewed at any time by selecting the gallery option in the guild. Those are some big old wasps, man. And that's a big old bird. Those things are huge. I don't want to deal with any of that. An advanced detachment of orc troops, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, yep. These large avians typically build their nests in caves and ruins. They eat insects, reptiles, other birds, eggs, small mammals, etc. Their favorite foods appear to be wasps, and they will actively attack wasp nests in order to get at them. This leads to their nicknames of wasp eaters or bug buzzards. With the orcs driven off, the wasp population will likely be reined in once again. Cool. Art by Haruka Kawamura. Thank you, Kawamura-san, for these cool art great but so I was that big I would probably faint I would definitely take off running and then faint later <laughs> I wouldn't want to faint in front of it and then get stung all right so now we go to the other place whoops oh I just launched her all the way across the screen did you see that does that have a practical use that was crazy. That was pretty nuts. Alright, now we go to the old capital. Welcome 
back. These are the ruins of the ancient capital city. It was destroyed following an invasion from the Northern Empire. Now it is a dangerous place full of dragons and wyverns. Okay, any treasures? Treasures. Oh, found one. Ooh, got, oh, more. Oh, I got it. I don't like him throwing all these bombs everywhere, though. So, I could do without that. What are you charging up? Come at me. Get him. Size of things are always fun. Yeah. yeah. Nets. Dude, the juggle on that magic, that's pretty good. Okay. You find the bandit Tomet in a hideout amid the ruins, just as Rani told you. It is said that whatever this man desires, by thievery he can acquire. Rani asks, are you Tomit the Bandit legend? Beaming, he displays his spoils and tails the tail behind each item. When you ask about the scepter, he says, that was indeed I. Goes on to boast exactly how he got into the castle. When you inquire further about the scepter, he deduces your true intentions and darts away. You should have just smacked him with your axe and got this stuff back, man. Now we gotta chase this guy. Be careful! Pursue the thief, apprehend him, and reclaim the scepter. Yeah, in a minute. I got scores to enhance. He'll be there when I get there. It's fine. Not capture a target swimming underwater. Watch for your quarry to surface. Wow. I should be able to bust that. Well, that was. <laughs> I, if I have a big pole I should be able to smash anything and everything anytime like no questions asked I got it done done definitely worth the fight in my opinion
I like that they kind of warn you that a fight's about to happen. <clears throat> it's my turn. Hey. <clears throat> oh. I like how he just like runs away, you scrub. You blow us all up and then you leave. Underworld calling. What is that? Just a piece of wood? Oh, I can't pick it up. I probably won't take the time to do this cursor thing all the time. But it is cool to know. Look at it. They're here! Hey. Pick up the dang bomb. Wow, that doesn't have much reach. Oh yeah, I forgot he's here too. He didn't give me all that stuff. Ouch, we're getting wrecked. Whoa! What is going on here? Did you notice my butt smash did 84 damage? Butt smash still lives. The scepter. You pin down Tomet, who is so stunned that he's actually been caught that he cannot move. Relenting, he produces the scepter from his bag and hands it to you. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good thing these dragons are not Belial that throws debris. Oh my gosh. And that there's no slowdown like that too. That would be terrible. So we're level 5 now. We can put on that thing. You have reclaimed the royal scepter stolen from the treasure room of the castle. And we've got some loots. Spoils of war will all be sold because I can't equip it. Or don't want it. We've got bones. I'm probably going to turn them into ashes. The slow animation reminds you of Street Fighter when they die. Yeah, it's definitely uh, got some of that vibe going. Mm -hmm. Alright. Scrappy opal necklace. What troubles you, my child? What troubles you, my child? Uh, who is that? What are you? Oh, hey, it's the same girl I am. It's another Amazonist. Well, I don't need two of us. I don't need two of us. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna bury you. Got 
put you to ground, girl. You can only put up a maximum of 32 people. Interesting. May they rest in peace. I didn't get an item. Oh, no, no, no. I can hold a max of 32 bones. Okay. I was gonna say, that's kind of weird. A weird cap. Once again, you are led to the throne room under guard. This time, a man stands there with a presumptuous grin. The man tells you to hand over the scepter. You tell him that you don't know what he's talking about. Interesting. The man's mouth transforms into a twisted grin. He signals his guards. They inch closer, swords at the ready. Interesting. You must bring the scepter to the proper requester, prepare for a battle with the guards, or you don't like the odds of your situation and hand the man the scepter. So if you feel like you're not strong enough to fight this, then you choose to be in the game, or you should probably run away anyway. I forgot to grab my allies back, but I ain't no punk, so it's fine. Fall into a fighting stance. As soon as you steal yourself for battle, the Prime Minister and the Princess can burst in. The Prime Minister orders the guards near you to stand down. The men twirls his cape and leaves, as if nothing happened. You sigh, relieved that you didn't have to shed blood in the castle <laughs> to resolve the problem. Thank goodness I did not have to slaughter you all. The Prime Minister tells you that man was Count Dean. Why is his name two high-ranking titles? The younger brother of the king. He's trying to earth up the throne. The scepter indicates the throne's heir. Prime Minister says Dean had Thomas Dillett to deny the princess the throne. Oh, she looks very regal with it. Prime Minister takes the scepter and narrows his eyes in satisfaction. He pays you for completing the quest. Money. No XP though. All right. Hey, hey, we got a. Uh, the fairy you saved in the ruins appears before you. She seems to want to take you somewhere. Come this way. Alright. Where we going, girl? The old tower. Alrighty. Trophy hype. <laughs> Let's go inside the tower. The fairy leads you into an old ivory covered tower. You find yourself in a cluttered room that seems to be a laboratory. Judging by this stratification of dust, much time has passed since anyone last entered this room. Hey Gift from how you doing? This game is great, I'm guessing you're playing with English voices. I think those scenes were voiced in Japanese. I just, I have the voices turned off for now. Um, future playthroughs I'll probably have Japanese voices on. Letters amidst the shambles indicate that a magician named Lucain lives here. You find a message he penned on this desk. He wrote that he was off to see a magician friend named Wallace. What a la uh, lame name. In the underground labyrinth. The fairy uses various interpretive gestures to indicate that she wants you to find him. You accept her job request. Some games have less voice acting in English, like Atelier Games, wasn't sure. Oh, yeah, um, I just have it off for now just so I can read. Part of it is because uh, I'm tired from work, and this is a very long stream today. So it keeps me awake. The other half is that I tend, we end up tending to talk over each other, me and the narrator. <laughs> Gotta finish my drink! Get ready! So... I should probably save it, but we, we shouldn't get a game over. Plus it just auto-saved, so we're good. So let's go. Let's go see if there's any more requests first. Ooh, stop hitting it. 
<laughs> your own teammates. Hmm. You have a request. Beastmaster. Okay. For those who aren't adventurers, it is extremely rare for a human to ever encounter an elf. However, an elf shrouded in a heavy coat recently filed a request with the guild. Certain beasts have been sighted recently in many areas. A beast with giant fangs and small bipedal dragons. These are known to be special beasts that the dark elves used to ride. Used to ride. This elf believes that the fact that these beasts exist is also proof that dark elves must also still exist in this world. The task requested of you is to face these beasts and see if you can mount one as your steed. Apparently exerting dominance over one of the dark elves' most formidable assets would ally this fearful elf's concerns. So kill 10 enemies while riding atop a dragon lisk or saber tooth in the old capital. Alrighty, let's do it. Accepted. Yeah, I know the art for all these missions is great. I imagine this one will be, I mean, I've only seen one, but it was amazing. So I imagine this one's gonna be really cool. Cause I'm hoping it's gonna be like me riding something amazing. So I don't care which one it is. No, I didn't want the temple ruins, dang it. I wanted the old capital. I just spaced. Let's leave. Go out. back yeah okay that's kind of annoying if you go to the wrong spot that kind of sucks and it doesn't take that much time let's go, just... let's go. that's an inconvenience oops So it seems like the allies never level up, so that's interesting. Yeah, it's my first character. There we go. So I'm not gonna... Oh, wait, wait, let me ride it. Yes! Oh, I tried to... Yeah, oh, that's amazing. I want to ride one of the other ones, though, too. <laughs> this is so cool. You play Elf the first, then Sorcerers, tried Amazon third, but melee characters were a lot more difficult to you. Melee characters are where I shine, and then I suck at every other character. <laughs> Especially Dex characters, like, I'm not good with Dex characters at all. Oh. 
the animations for this are really cool. I knew you were about to jump out, scrub. Yeah, a few people have mentioned the elf being fun to play. Yeah, that saber tooth is pretty daggum amazing. And it seems to like have invincible health. Establish dominance and rode the beast. I want the other beast. I want to ride both. I want to keep this pet forever. made me die what what statue you can't eat while you're on the uh, saber tooth which would be really cool but that is okay <laughs> I love this thing he's just like not bothered by any of that invincible right now. This is amazing. You will eat all the dragons in the I don't give that. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Just kidding. Ooh, caught you. Butt smash for the win! Yeah! Oh man. That butt smash did 176 damage. It's almost as if this region has regressed to primeval times, an era where reptiles rule the world. Quickly leave the territory. <laughs> no cat. Yeah, cat died. Right at the end. Stupid cat. How dare you? Just kidding. Alright, what do we got? In our spoils. Rank C. It's probably also got blast. Not interested in any of that. going on with these bones what troubles you my child everything life pray for a miracle that angel statue looks cool you stand before the goddess statues Jula, Althena, and Vernus these statues have all crumbled texts say the goddesses sacrificed themselves to defeat a dragon which caused their likeness to degrade as well Althena the one in the center is the goddess of compassion, battle, and odyssey, making her popular with adventurers. If your party falls during your adventure, a prayer to Athena and a tithing of your money will resurrect the party. If you are repeatedly depending on her grace, the amount you must offer for her service will continually increase. Makes sense. Paladin's Prayer. Boost rate of finding weapons and shields and chests. Boost rate of finding accessories and chests. Increase life points by one when adventuring. What? 
Slightly increase money gain during results. Slightly increase round score during the results. Okay. How long does that last? You received the effects of Adventurer's Boon. Alright. I imagine you can only have one at a time. Winifred. Statue made me do it. Alright, we're gonna have to bury you, madam. May they rest in peace. Rip. It means one life, not one HP. Oh, okay, so one stat boost to life. That makes a whole lot more sense. It's time. <laughs> okay. Show me the art. Oh, that is tight. Oh, that looks so good. I want these arts for my wallpaper on my phone. He's got some square paws. You see that? Those are some very square paws, Mr. Sabretooth. I still wouldn't mess with you though, but those are some funky looking paws. That is crazy. That's really cool. I like it. Dark Elves are antisocial by nature, even amongst themselves, a trait which ultimately led to their demise at the hands of other races. Surviving Dark Elves were forced from their lands by other Elves and most, like, mostly reside underground. Without a large central population, it's unlikely that future generations will inherit and carry on their customs. However, some individual Dark Elves still wander the land, using their magic to dominate violent beasts have the potential to be a beast tamer, a very powerful skill. Keep your bloodline going so you can spread this power to your descendants, the Dark Elf tells you before departing, never to be seen again. Cool. Never seen again. We have seven skill points. Let's uh, let's, let's learn some skills, man. So we're level seven now. We can learn this. Don't care about it. Or that. Nah, I don't think I want that. Gotta be level 8 for that next rank up for money is power. I'm more tired from work than I thought. I took a nap, but at this rate, I this definitely won't be a 24-hour stream at this rate. So I might have to compromise. I want the dirt to just keep popping. Adrenaline sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I'll take care of my health for sure. I just wanted to try to do a 24 hour, but clearly I am not in good position to do so. Heading out to sleep. All right, man. I may or may not be back when you back. If I don't if I don't stream continuously, then I will definitely at least stream every day for the next 5 days. For the next five days stream. <clears throat> I will stream if I don't stay awake. So we'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. Mm, I'm not 
parrying. <clears throat> Power smash and shockwaves are stricken are strengthened, yes. Gimme that. Okay. No new quests, so now we go to uh Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician. Right. I wonder what the speed run time on this is, because I'm sure someone speed ran this game by this point. Labyrinth and said to have been made in a single night with powerful magic. Whoa! Oh, the magic. Be careful. I wish I could do a butt smash shockwave. Oh, that's a shockwave. That's kind of cool. One minute, sixteen seconds is the current record. Nice. Filthy Luca. Oh, I missed on the. Sorry. That chest looks better. I got it. Voila. Trap was sprung and the door magically closed. Slime. Really. Slime creatures are weak against fire. The torches are I have one. Oh, grow crazy. Obviously. Not many people have been speedrunning this this record. Yeah, I can see this game falling off the speedrun map pretty quick. I keep losing track of my character. Oh, he's just like a treasure goblin, like a golden axe. So that does, that is a thing. Out of the blue, a mouse starts out and leaps onto your palm. Rodin claims to be the apprentice of Wallace the Magician. He says he was tasked with caring for the laboratory while Wallace was gone. But it is beset by malevolent magic users. When you ask about the same thing, Princess answers that his master's friend went into the labyrinth and hasn't returned. Your quest to find the saint is delayed as you attempt to liberate the lab for Ricky the Magician's apprentice. Yeah, it's a cool mouth. I agree. Oh, yes. The oh, crap. Oh, quit it. Uh. There's a golden skull. Let's see. Voila! Voila. I don't oh, I see 
see the shockwave? Like, I don't understand. There's something I'm missing, I think. It's my turn. Done. That was fast. They're here. I kind of want to play this without any allies. I feel like it's starting to kind of change the experience a little bit because we just have so many characters doing stuff. It doesn't make any sense. That chest with the trap. Okay. I got it. Simple. Now he's leveled up. I don't know what it means for him to level up. Because the library or laboratory. <laughs> I figured I'd let him take care of that. There's been a population explosion of mutated beings spreading their spores around. The labyrinth is overrun by fun guy. Let's see. Done. Yeah, it'll definitely get harder later. Like the mic is quieter than before. Nah, it's just me talking quieter. I'm tired. Instead of a 24 hour stream, I'm probably gonna end up being just like a super short stream. Because I'm terrible. I'm a filthy, filthy liar. Be careful! But I do like this game. Straight up and cut it like a tiny mushroom. Funny thing. So bad. Outstanding. Okay, I need a heal for a second. Let's eat some food. Maybe I should increase how much I heal from the food. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, 
Oh, that was lucky I was busting that dodge that attack. It's a good thing I have the allies then. You obtained the bones of Lucane, oh no, he died. Alright, so now we have to res him. Tatter Ramus and Drew Relief, no doubt that the course is indeed Lucane's. That was really close. That was way too close. Yay, a level up. He bring back the bones of the magician Lucane. Maybe it's Lucan? I don't know. Let's see. We don't need those. Now saving. Wandering one, how can I help you? Let's resurrect Subo. You are level 9. Towards the light. Yeah, we're gonna res you. This must have been fate. Now. You found the same, but he was dead. You imagine the fairy will be overcome with grief. But you need to return. Well, why can't we just like recover or re resurrect? Now, that's not very nice. We could have at least resurrected. Well then. Uh, I like I like Aaliyah okay. better than Jet. Jet drops too many bombs and it messes us up. So, sorry, Mr. Dwarf. Wow, I think you look awesome to leave you man okay so okay so she's her she runs funny oh she's holding her hat that's pretty funny oh she looks sad when you enter the laboratory the fairy frantically flits around you as if it senses your uneasiness upon seeing Lucien's bones the fairy enters into a panic she begins tugging at your arm to get you to leave the tower. Fairy is apparently attempting to lead you to somewhere. You collect Lucane's bones and follow her. All right. As you enter, you seem to be in need of some help, a monk says and approaches you. You nervously hand the monk the bones of Lucane. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench the thirst. Okay. So the same thing we've already seen. It looks cool though. Like you, you can't really get tired of seeing it. The prayer reaches the goddess and the pile of bones is once again given flesh. Wow, he looks pretty mad. Saying shocked to find himself alive, thanks you profusely. He tells you to visit him at his laboratory and leaves. Of course he's blowing him orangs. Of course he's blowing them over hands. The resurrected magician has returned to the old tower. You decide to see him and ask more details. The magician Lucene is waiting for you in the laboratory. 
and built the old tower. Seems that dying had an adverse effect on his short-term memory. Oh no, he can't remember why he meant to went to meet with Wallace. He's researching magic called runes, which are closely tied to spirits and fairies. He introduces his fairy friend to you. Her name is Tiki. She left the fairy forest due to her strong curiosity. He thanks you again for saving him and allowing him to enjoy life's rich pageant. He displays his magic trinkets. He says he'd be happy to sell you these items at a fraction of the normal price and answer any questions you have. Man, I brought you back to life. You don't want to just, like, give them to me, period. Let's ask about Wallace. Magician Wallace was an old friend of Lusain's. He was known as a Greek magician. He sealed that group, or myopia, the Cyclopes in the Labyrinth, and saved the land. He also mentored young magicians in his tower. He was also the king's trusted advisor, and Lusain trails off. Seems Lusain's memory has failed him again. Before you realize it, Tiki is following you around. She seems to have taken a liking to you. She will accompany you on your adventures henceforth. Fairies are known to be adept at fighting hitting things. Oh great, I don't have to use my cursor anymore then, maybe. So that'll be cool. Let's ask about rooms. Oh, how can I help you? Buy items. Which one? Each item can be used a certain number of times during an adventure. When you return to town, your equipped items will be restocked as long as they have restocks remaining. Healing ring. Ooh. A bit of all allies HP. That's pretty cool. Forms ice pillars. Twelve uses per dungeon. Those aren't bad. But I'm just not gonna use them. Except the heal ring I'll probably use. Which one? Which one? I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. I have to stop. Because apparently I'm too tired to do a 24 hour stream. So I apologize, but I do need to try to rest. Um, but I will be back tomorrow, 100%. I will be here the next five days guaranteed. That will be a thing. So we will make up 24 hours of stream across five days. So, thank you for watching. I will host someone. Sorry the stream was just like late to start. Didn't end up how I wanted. It's just, you know, plans don't always work out and that's okay. And so we will adjust and adapt. Have a good one.